Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 24th to the 31st, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can do that in a private reading. So I welcome and invite you to go to my website, and that is www.berendatero, spelled T A R O, dot info. See you soon. I want to thank all the new people requesting private readings from me to my circle, and blessings to all my return clients. On Monday, Taurus, we start off with an air card, and you have been given the six of air. And air cards have to do often with the legal system and dealing with courts and issues like that, but it has to do with justice and, and those people that bring the injustice into our lives and how we make fair and just and truthful decisions and choices in our life. This is telling me that some of you have been dealing with these types of issues and you're really, really tired right now and it's been very challenging for you, but things are now looking up. Know that you're, you're, you are at the end of this difficult situation. It's coming to an end. Now, this card also signifies that some of you are actually going on a trip over a large body of water and perhaps in a boat. On Tuesday, you've been given a fire card and you have been given the four of fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices into motion and risk-taking, adventure, and mainly self-development. This is telling me that I do see in some of you, you've reached that point you've worked hard for, contentment <clears throat> and peace and abundance coming into you. Know that abundance can come in in the form of time, money, and or effort. I see others that have now a happy home life that you've worked hard for and you've achieved. This is also the card that of a successful completion of a project that some of you may be working on. Great card for Wednesday. So was Tuesday's card. The world. The world is all about perfection and a job well done that you've done yourself and contentment and joy and gratitude for everything in your life turning out really, really well. Know this, that you're almost on the path right now. Everything's coming up roses for some of you that you feel like you're on the path of enlightenment. So you need to commend yourself. For this uh, some of you may be receiving an award some of you may be getting a uh, moving into a new house some of you may go, be going to a new job some of you may be getting a new position at your place of employment anyway feel the freedom of a job well done my friend Thursday King of Earth Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives again our jobs careers and professions and how we bring that abundance and currency into our lives or it can have to do with mother nature, eco situations, and our closest circle, which is our family. This is telling me, again, this is a great week for you guys, Taurus. It's telling me that it's, this is a successful time for some of you. So, this is that Midas Touch card I talk about. You can land on your feet and come up smelling like roses no matter what you do this week. So, please confidently accept any new opportunities coming down the path. Know that it'll be fine if you do. It'll be great if you do. On Friday, water card. Four of water. Water cards are our relationship cards. Sometimes romantic and intimate and other times not. This is telling me some of you are in a situation and or a relationship right now in your life and you feel like you're missing an opportunity to the point you're discontented, you're bored, you're asking yourself, why am I in this? Why am I putting up with this? Why am I enabling this in my life when I'm really not happy with it? So, open your eyes to any new possibilities coming down your path. On Saturday again, the Ace of Water. Aces again are the beginnings of things in any suit. This is telling me that some of you are in you know, the budding part and, and the beautiful part of falling in love. And others that have been in a relationship for a very long time that you've had a few of these. Uh, you're going to see the resurgence of this relationship coming into play again. It's almost like spiritual growth and, and enhanced intuition for some of you. It's like, I knew this was going to happen and bang, it did. And again, that's, uh, you know, we, um, we are what we think, basically, and the law of attraction, and I teach this all the time. Now, for others, I see you're moving to a new home. 
Okay, that's not the first time that's come up. So, Sunday, end of the week, five of fire, another fire card. This is telling me that at the end of the week, someone's going to come in uh, into your face and they're going to want to bicker with you. They're going to want to um, debate everything with you. They're really going to start to get under your skin. And so you need to know that this individual has competing goals and this is why this person's doing this. So it, there may be a little bit of a conflict with this individual. So just a heads up to know at the end of the week you may be uh, having a little bit of a confrontation with someone. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Master's Oracle card, and they gave you this. Find the blessings in your current situation. So, you know, sometimes, I, sometimes we don't, uh, our prayers don't get answered. And we later on down the road find out that it was for the better, like that song. Thank God for unanswered prayers. Okay, so sometimes we can be in a situation that might not be uh, that we think is to our best benefit or that this is what we wanted uh, or this is what we wished would happen and it didn't happen. Okay, so find the blessing in your current situation. Look at this situation and say, you know, um, it was a blessing in disguise. I wish you a great remainder to today, Taurus, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote, and this quote sort of does fall in the line of the law of attraction. A negative person sees a difficulty in every opportunity, but a positive thinker sees an opportunity in every difficulty. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.